Now we're gonna go ahead and break down and rebuild the Lynx 100C. You wanna go ahead and start off taking off the trigger. Set that off to the side. You're going to notice that this is very similar to the automatic A100C. For this gun, you want to go ahead and remove the fluid control knob. You're going to see that there's a spring, and if you were to tap the knob, there's a small little spring seat in there as well. Looks like a 3D arrow. And you want to put all three of these to the side. Now you want to go ahead and push your needle assembly and pull it out from the back. Again, using needle nose pliers. Using the 3 8 socket, pull out your fluid tip. And off that goes. 15 millimeter wrench once again for the nozzle body and again we're just going to go ahead and loosen this so that we have something to hold on to now the extension found in the maintenance toolkit Same adjustable leather packing needle seal. Eleven sixteenths at two hundred inch pounds to break the lock nut loose. And the five eighths for the flute inlet fitting. Side. Here is the same a nozzle, fluid nozzle carrier, and fluid nozzle body that we had seen in the automatic A100C. We're going to go ahead and remove the fluid inlet seal and replace it. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with, for the automatic. We're going to go ahead and line up the holes on the gun itself. Once it's there, we we'll take the fluid inlet fitting. Screw that in hand tight. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the gun back on, get the adjustable needle seal assembly, as well as our extension. Now you just want to go ahead and hand tight this once again until it touches the gun body. Leave it there. Take your 5 8 socket. And again, at 100 inch-pounds, go ahead and torque the fluid inlet fitting down. On that first click, go ahead and stop. Let's go ahead and snug up the needle seal assembly. Now we're going to go back to the fluid inlet fitting. Tighten up the lock nut. Turn 
turn the gun body using our 15 millimeter wrench. I'm going to snug up the nozzle body. Put back our fluid tip. Needle assembly. Fluid control knob. Trigger. And trigger stud and screw. And we are ready to spray. And now that we have the Lynx 100C rebuilt, again we're going to test the fluid section with air. This one appears to be holding pressure as well. So both these guns are ready to go and be tested with water.